recent evidences have shown that all the enzymes and proteins involved in DNA replication remain stationary at the replication fork. And as you can see here, with the help of the clamp, the DNA is looped out. This clamp is known as the sliding clamp and it's similar in structure in all the forms of life. This clamp is a protein in nature which interacts with the DNA polymerase. The carboxy terminal end of the clamp along with DNA polymerase interacts with another protein known as the clamp loader and this results in the DNA to be threaded out forming a loop. The sliding clamp forms non-specific interaction with DNA and this results in a 35 Armstrong hole in the middle of the clamp. Now observe here carefully and you can see as the DNA polymerase reaches the end of the template then the clamp undergoes conformational change which releases the DNA polymerase. The clamp loader is a multi subunit protein and as you can see here it is responsible for binding of the DNA polymerase to the sliding clamp. It should be noted that the sliding clamp can only bind to the single stranded DNA and once the single stranded DNA runs out then the DNA polymerase bind to the new subunit on the clamp loader and then move on to a new position on the lagging strand and the DNA polymerase third associates with the clamp loader and then bind to the sliding clamp. Despite of the fact that the two strands of DNA runs anti-parallel to each other, the presence of the sliding clamps enables them to proceed only in one direction with the help of a loop. Now observe the whole animation without my interruption. Thanks to all of you friends. <laughs>